It was an absolute honour to help judge this year's Courage Award. A BP, courage is also one of our values, and we define it as facing up to difficulty, speaking up, and standing by what we believe in. Tonight's award aims to recognise an individual, team, or organisation that fulfils at least one of the following criteria. Finding the inner strength to redefine their own possibilities. Impacting perceptions of what others may deem as unexpected. Or having the resilience to truly excel in the face of great challenges. It was a privilege to join Andrew Parsons and Jitsa Visser on the judging panel to review this year's outstanding nominations from the IPC membership. We had a tough job to single out just a single winner, but there was one person who we think displayed not just one, but all three of the criteria. I'm delighted to announce that the winner of this year's BP Courage Award is Victoria Potapova. By the age of 10, Victoria lost her eyesight to cancer, but took up judo and went on to compete in three Paralympic Games, winning a bronze medal at each. But then in 2017, she was diagnosed with a rare form of cancer and underwent a series of operations to remove her upper jaw, part of her nose and part of her eye socket. Not only did Victoria beat cancer for a second time, she also found the courage to compete in Tokyo, where she won another bronze medal in judo. The panel was in awe of the courage this must have taken, with life-changing surgery and then coming back to compete in such a physically demanding sport. We could only imagine how difficult and courageous this must have been. Katapova has achieved a submission from Lee Kaylin. I'm so much thankful for all the people that surrounds me. I want to say thank you to my relatives, to my daughter, to my sisters, to all the people who helped me, to my coach, to the people who works in the Russian Olympic Committee. And I want to say thank you to organizers. And the win will be awarded to Potapova. Then uh, I talked to the doctors and they recommended me that I should live my ordinary life. And when I heard that from the doctors, I was like, why should I quit? Sport is good for me, so I will keep on doing that. I don't need to think about my disease. I just have to live. And along with that win, of course, the bronze medal. All my medals are kept at home, but this medal, I don't put it far away because my daughter keeps on asking me all the time, Mama, show me your medal. You put it on. You are the most beautiful mom with your medal on. And I'm telling her, stop it. It's all over now. She says, no, it has to be kept every time. And I want you to show that to me every day.